Hello everyone and welcome to IntelliPack. In this video, I will be talking about the Neural Processing Unit. You must have come across the term Neural Processing Unit while looking at smartphone specifications. All the latest high-end smartphones have it. Apple, Samsung and many other players in the smartphone industry are marketing this very heavily. So what exactly is NPU? Let us know more about this technology in this video. But before we do that, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Let us take a look at the agenda for today's video. Firstly, I'll be talking about the differences between CPU, GPU and NPUs. And next, I'll move on to what exactly is a neural processing unit, followed by the need for NPUs. And finally, I'll be talking about the use cases of NPUs. Let us move on with the first topic. Differences between CPU, GPU and NPUs. Now, what is a CPU? Constructed from millions of transistors, the CPU can have multiple processing cores. It usually has uh, 4, 8, 16 cores as well nowadays and is commonly referred to as the brain of the computer. It is essential to all modern computing systems as it executes the commands and processes needed for your computer and operating system. The CPUs is also important in determining how fast programs can run from surfing the web to building spreadsheets. Now let us take a look at what a GPU is. The GPU is a processor similar to a CPU. It is basically a silicon chip that is made up of many smaller and more specialized cores. By working together, the cores deliver massive performance when a processing task can be divided up and processed across many cores. Therefore, GPUs are used for rendering 3D models and graphics intensive applications. CPUs and GPUs have a lot in common. Both are critical computing engines. Both are silicon based microprocessors and both can handle data. But CPUs and GPUs have different architectures and they are built for very different purposes. The CPU is suited to a wide variety of workloads, especially those for which latency or per core performance are important. A powerful execution engine, the CPU, focuses its smaller number of cores on individual tasks and on getting things done quickly. This makes it uniquely well equipped for jobs ranging from serial computing to running databases. GPUs began as a specialized ACEs on the other hand. They are used to render 3D tasks and they are more general purpose parallel processors as well and they can handle a lot of growing range of applications in the visual field. One of these applications was for AI and machine learning. Today, GPUs run a growing number of workloads such as deep learning and artificial intelligence. So guys, uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning workloads, they started off with the GPUs. For deep learning training with several neural network layers or on massive sets of certain data like 2D images, a GPU or other accelerators are ideal. Deep learning algorithms were adapted to use a GPU accelerated approach, gaining a significant boost in performance and bringing the training of several real world problems to a feasible and viable range for the first time. The combination of CPU and GPU along with sufficient RAM offers a great test bed for deep learning and AI. But this hit a roadblock and couldn't reach the expectations of deep learning. That is the reason why NPUs or AI accelerators were born. Traditional CPUs or GPUs can do similar tasks, but NPU specifically optimized for neural networks can perform much better than CPUs and GPUs combined. Gradually, similar neural network tasks will be done by dedicated NPU units. Alright guys, let us move on to the next topic. What exactly is a neural processing unit? A neural processor or a neural processing unit, NPU for short, is also called as an AI accelerator, is a specialized circuit that implements all the necessary control and arithmetic logic necessary to execute machine learning algorithms, typically by operating on predictive models such as artificial neural networks or random forests. NPUs sometimes go by similar names and I'll be listing the names or the aliases here. They go by tensor processing unit or also called as TPU. They're also called as neural network processors NNPs and intelligence processing unit IPUs as well as vision processing unit or VPU for short. 
and finally graph processing unit or GPU for short. Unlike traditional central processing units which are great at processing high serialized instruction streams, machine learning workloads tend to be highly parallelizable, much like a graphics processing unit. Moreover, unlike a GPU, NPUs can benefit from vastly simple logic because of their workloads tend to exhibit high regularity in the computational patterns of deep neural networks. For these reasons, many custom design dedicated neural processes have been developed. Generally speaking, NPUs are classified either as training or inference. For chips that are capable of performing both operations, the two phases are still generally performed independently. So even if uh, the chips have both training and inference capabilities, they are independent to each other. And we also have a different chip for training and different chip for inference as well. Now let us see what these classifications in the NPUs mean. Training chips. The NPUs that are designed to accelerate training to accelerate the curating of new models. This is a highly compute intensive operation that involves inputting an existing data set and iterating over the data set. It will adjust the model of the weights and biases in order to ensure an ever more accurate model. Correcting a wrong prediction involves propagating back through the layers of the network and guessing a connection. The process involves guessing again and again until an answer is achieved at desired accuracy. Now when it comes to the inference part of NPUs, these are the NPUs designed to accelerate inference operate on compute models. Inference accelerators are designed to input a new piece of data, that is a new camera shot, a new sound uh, clip, etc. And then it processes it through the already trained model and generates a result. Now let us move to the need for NPUs in today's world. For the last few years, we have made incredible progress in machine learning applications and have outperformed humans in some tasks such as playing games like Go and Chess. At the same time, machine learning applications are taking human life to the next level. Some of the applications include self-driving cars, monitoring a system or area from threats like security system involving real-time facial recognition, improving healthcare by accurate analysis and treatment, and finally face recognition in smartphones. All these have exponentially increased the number of computations involved and the previous approaches of using GPUs could not scale well. This paved way to design a processor which will perform better than GPUs and cope up with the progress that we are making in the field of machine learning. NPUs are required for the following purposes. Firstly, they are used to accelerate the computation of machine learning tasks by several folds. And several folds here means nearly 10,000 times as compared to GPUs. And the second reason is it consumes low power and improves resource utilization for machine learning tasks such as compared to GPUs and CPUs. Here I have listed some real life implementations of NPUs. So we have the Tensor Processing Unit by Google, NNP Myriad IQ by Intel, NVDLA by Nvidia, AWS Inferentia by the Amazon Web Service themselves, NPU by Alibaba Cloud, Kundlun by Baidu, Sophon by Bitmain, MLU by Cambricon, IPU by Graphcore, Asin by Huawei, Neural Engine by Apple, which I will be talking about a little later in this video, and finally Neural Processing Unit by Samsung. So all these are the different NPUs that are available in the market provided by different vendors. Now let us move on to the use case of NPUs. Most new iPhones and iPads have a neural engine, a special processor that makes machine learning models really fast, but not much is publicly known about how this processor actually works. Because of how the Apple industry works, they keep everything secret. The Apple Neural Engine or the ANE is a type of neural processing unit. It is like a GPU, but instead of accelerating graphics, it accelerates neural network operations such as convolutions and matrix multiplications. The Apple Neural Engine isn't the only neural processing unit out there. Many companies besides Apple are developing their own AI accelerator chips. Besides the Neural Engine, the most famous neural processing unit is the Google's TPU or the Tensor Processing Unit. The NPU is built into the mobile processor to utilize advanced neural networks and provide new levels of vision intelligence to the Galaxy S20, S20 Plus, S23 Ultra and the Z Flip. 
The neural processing unit powers scene optimizer, offering enhanced ability to recognize what's in your photo and prompt the camera to adjust to the ideal settings for the subject. It is now more accurate than previous Galaxy models also. It also gives you the front camera the ability to blur the background of the selfies and create bokeh effects. Not only that, the NPU helps the on-device artificial intelligence that is integrated in the Samsung phones, which is called as Bixby Vision. Bixby Vision's lens mode detects what you are seeing. So it can give you information on a restaurant that you've just passed or on a pair of shoes that you want to buy and you have seen it on somewhere on the street. So it helps you with the information on the objects as well. So this is the power of NPUs. That's it from my end guys. Thank you for watching till the end. Have a nice day. If you want to make a career in data science, then IntelliPath has IIT Madras Advanced Data Science and AI Certification Program. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by IIT professors and industry experts.